Okay, guys, it's time for your daily presidential address. I'm going to take apart the Green Bay Packers Jacksonville Jaguars game. Green Bay here is minus four and a half, and the total in this game bet up to 51. Before I get into that, I want to talk about uh, there's a gentleman in the chat room named Wesley, really good guy, watches our show, uh, Wager Talk Today, on a regular basis. And he types in there, Prez, I'm going to give your hockey another chance. Now, why I want to make mention of that is real quick. You can't just pick a day to buy somebody's plays. It, it's so random. You know, Steve Merrill killing it in the NBA. You pick a random day to buy Steve Merrill's NBA play, it could lose. You pick a random day to buy my NFL, it could lose. A random day to buy my NHL, it could lose. The point I'm making is if you're going to try a handicapper, try them for at least a month. Because at least in that, from that perspective, they're going to go through ups and they're going to go through downs. And you're not going to be focused on, is this the day? I have a promo code. I have a promo that expires at the end of today, Tuesday. And it is $175. You get a month of my NFL and a month of my NHL. So it's buy one, get one free. If you're going to try me out, try that exact package. $175. You get both my NHL and my NFL a full month. That is how you find out if I am a good handicapper and I am the handicapper that suits your needs. I will win in that package. Okay, Green Bay, minus four and a half against Jacksonville. Full disclosure, we were on Green Bay last week on the money line. They won by two. They did not cover the spread, but they covered my bet, and that's all I care about. Now they go into Jacksonville. And I think this is a very bad spot for this Green Bay team. Like, horrible. The game following the Jacksonville game is against the Detroit Lions, which is literally going to be one of those for-the-division type of games. That'll be clearly the biggest game they have this season. After the Detroit Lions, they play the Bears, another huge division game. And after that, they got San Fran on deck. Another game they're going to need to win a playoff seeding. This Jacksonville game is sandwiched right there. It is not a good spot for Green Bay at all. This is one of those perfect look-ahead spots where Green Bay will not give us their best. So the question now is, is 80% of their best good enough to cover four and a half on the road in Jacksonville? I don't think so. The Jags finally got a decent win last week, beating the Patriots 32-16, to and the Jags have won two of their last three games. They're also playing with Doug Peterson's uh, job right now. I also like that the Jags have finally found some balance to their offense last week. They ran the ball 39 times for 171 yards, and Fabio was 20-25, 20 193 yards in the air. These are good numbers that suggest this team might be finding their rhythm. So where we, so here we have a Green Bay team that is in a horrible, horrible spot. They're on the road. They have their most important game of the season coming up next, and they're playing a Jag team that is finally starting to turn their season around. Four and a half points on the road is just too many. Plus, with Jacksonville's offense the way it is, I think that they can cover in a backdoor environment as well. We're going to take the dog here, and I would not be floored if Jacksonville wins this game outright. Take the Jags plus four and a half. That's the daily presidential address. Thanks for watching, everyone.